Hey team, thanks for joining in. Um, today we're going to go over uh, three tripod uh, escapes. So this will be from the half guard position, uh, using the tripod uh, to come up. We're going to do a knee cut, um, we're going to do a mount and how to unlock the leg, and we're also going to do a back step. So thanks for joining in. So we're going to be in uh, half guard. My, my leg is uh, fully wrapped up uh, with my partner. He's not letting my leg out. You're going to be uh, with one arm swam under, one arm under the head. So normal um, shoulder pressure conditions. All right, and you're going to start driving up onto your head. So from here, I want to put my head on the mat and I want to use my feet to start bouncing up. So for this exercise, your partner will follow you up. Okay, so you want to get nice and tall here. And then you can use this back foot, this one here, to start to look to push your partner's leg down and get your knee to the mat. Right, so at this point we're now stuck in quarter guard. And so I'm going to show you how to get out of this position as well. So the one thing uh, we always try to do is change our partner's um, spinal alignment to try to make them uh, weak structurally. Right, so if Jaden has his head facing this way and his legs facing this way, then he's extremely strong. As soon as we start turning his head this way, the more we turn his head, the more this leg will open up. Right, Jaden's pretty flexible, uh, but for someone who's not so flexible, the more you push their head, the more this leg opens up and the easier it is to get your leg out. Right, so we'll show from this position first. Right, so we've managed to get into this uh, quarter guard position. Jaden's captured my foot. Right, so I'm going to bring this arm across and I'm going to use uh, this sandpaper motion and I'm going to get my thumb into my partner's collar. So I don't want to use this as a, a collar choke, I just want to use this as a mechanism to uh, make my partner structurally weak. Right, so I open up the cheekbone and I put pressure on his face and then I can do the same thing. I can use this back leg. See how his legs are open? To start unlocking my feet. Right, so I'll show from this angle as well so you can see how I unlock my feet. So from here, from here I reach across, I start turning my partner's head, I put lots of pressure so I move my weight forward, I put my hook into my partner's leg and I start to unlock the feet. And then obviously you're in uh, mount position, right? So the next one, we're going to look to do the same uh, tripod, but now instead of cutting to uh, quarter guard, we're going to cut through to uh, uh, knee slice. So we'll go from this position so you can see where I end up. So we have exactly the same position. I'm caught in uh, half guard. I drive forward, I put my head on the mat, I start lifting up. Right, as soon as my knee line is clear, I can start dropping to the side. But as you can see, Jaden's caught my foot again, right? So I'm stuck in the same predicament and I have the same uh, answer, the same uh, rationale behind uh, trying to unlock this foot, right? So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn his head. So I lift up his arm. I use my head to now turn the chin. Okay? And then I use my um, top foot to kick either the bottom one or the top one to get your leg out, and then we're back into this uh, Kazuo Gesegatami position. Right? If you don't know what um, Kazuo Gesegatami is, uh, then check out the link up in the corner. Uh, that'll give you all the details you know, escapes, pressure, everything from that position, and uh, I'll chuck up another link straight after this one with, um, with your scarf hold position as well, so you understand what position you're going into. Hey team, so we're going to uh, look at the last one in the series, which is uh, doing your knee cut and then doing uh, a back step. So we start up exactly the same as we did in the other ones. Hands together, tripod up off your head. Then you're going to get your knee free, so if your partner follows you up, you can bring this foot and then cut on the inside. And I'm going to change my grip, so when I back step, 
I can reach underneath my partner's armpit or grab some of the gear. Okay, so when I pull my partner backwards, okay, I can start to create this face pressure again, which helps me unlock my legs. So from here, you take the foot that's not trapped, you block the foot on the bottom, pull your leg out, and then turn your partner to get back to side control. So we'll show from another angle so you can see the feet. So move your bum back to create this uh, face pressure. You can notice it. You're using your top hand to push. You're using your bottom leg to stomp. And then you turn your palm in the other direction so they can't bring their legs back inside. Nice team, thanks for watching. Um, if you like our videos, please hit the like button. Uh, make sure you hit the notifications button and also subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.